what is your ejaculation protocol during a race weekend? Do you do you sort of? No, I I have tried all sorts. Yeah. Like like boxing, I you know like boxers, certain boxers just like hold off for weeks, don't they, yeah. before a fight? And I I tried that. Then it was just a waste. It just got a bit angry. Well, I got ang I got <laughs> angry, but but also I was like, if like yeah, I just sort of wanted to make the most of being able to do it whilst I could, so I I did it. Really, I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't. Well, it's like like if you if you've cranked off, it's, I don't believe it's necessarily going to make you faster. Like, and I I believe I ride better when I'm more chilled out. So I'm I'm probably better off cranking off in the morning before a race maybe. <laughs> Or getting cranked off, <laughs> and then and then I'm chilled. You know, it's a bit like maybe having a cigarette or something. And yeah, a doobie, a doobie. Yeah, yeah. being you know mellow, <laughs> couple, couple rather than being like Merlot. revved yeah. up and yeah, mellow. So you haven't noticed any difference though, or uh, you just, I'm just or you a happier person if I yeah. if I masturbated or had <laughs> sex. I'm happier. If I did motor GP, if I did short circuit, I think I wouldn't. I would hold back a little for that aggression, you know, overtaking yeah. and stuff. But road racing. I don't think you need it. Smooth is better. Yeah, yeah. So as you know, James, I'm uh, after years of persuasion and you're banging on about it. <laughs> and others banging on about it. I'm gonna do the TT this year. Yeah. Um, do you remember your first TT? Obviously yeah. you do. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> it was what were you yeah, what were your were you absolutely because the thing the thing I found was until up until the point of committing and getting my notice in, uh, my notice, my entry in, yeah, and getting everything nailed. I was absolutely shitting it, and then now I'm just, I can't wait to ride. I cannot wait to ride. Yeah, um, I, it sort of makes my head stand up thinking about first go, first go, because it is, I'm a bit envious of you really, because you're, you know, you know, I've sort of sadly in a way got used to it now, and it's not, it's still exciting, but not, you know, it's that unknown excitement that you're, you're getting and going through and gonna have on the build up that, that you can't replicate again, so. It, uh, I remember it all like yesterday, you know, and that was in 2008, eight years ago, nine yeah. years ago. How, so, old were, how old were you when you did your first race? Uh, 22. So I was really? Young. Yeah, wow. really young, really. Well, yeah. Um, and what had, you, what had you done leading up to that? Had you been doing short circuit stuff? Yeah, just short circuit, British super sport, um, uh, Christ, probably a super teen R6 Cup then, British yeah. super sport. For you were wobbling around the pack with me, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, we were like just making the numbers up. Yeah. And, Fill in people's pockets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's not get too political. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, okay. They, uh, <laughs> they, uh, um, and, and it, it, you know, I never, I never, from a young age, I never really desperately wanted to do TT. It was something uh, that kind of appealed appealed to me because it involved riding a motorbike fast on the road, um, and, and an enjoyment factor. Obviously, it's dangerous, but. The, um, the the short circuit scene can get frustrating when you're when you're mid pack as we were, Alistair. Um, do you think that do you think on short circuit the difference in bikes is more relevant than on road racing? Uh, yes. Yeah. And probably team like a lot of people jump on about the bike, but a lot of um, uh, you know uh, it's the machinery can be. At a level, but you've got to have the team to support you on that bike, you know, to, to set it up because you could have the best yeah. bike. And, and you, you see it a lot of people buy an X, uh, whatever bike from that won the championship last year, and it will do nothing the next yeah. year, you know. You've got to have yeah. the backup to. So, for me, um, with TT especially, is you know, we could we could have a pretty stock bike. I shouldn't really say that because it, you know, they do throw a lot of money, and at the level we're at now, at the front, it, it, the little bits do add up. But yeah, it could, all helps. Yeah. You could still have a, a strong result with it, with just a, with a relatively basic bike and a good team, and a, to feel comfortable. You know, yeah. TT is a rider good. experience. Yeah, I mean, TT yeah. is a lot about comfort zone and being content with what's going on around you and having the confidence in the guy doing the bolts up on your bike who's built the bike and stuff which is yeah a funny story that I get my tattoos over there and this there's a called the gallery and this guy this Polish guy called um, Coral. I don't Coral. Know I don't know Coral Carol Coral. or Coral. Coral. No. Well we had this discussion no, didn't we have yeah. a Polish and Polish. But anyway yeah. he it, Coral K O R A L yeah. Abraham. And and um and he, and he's he's good at uh, artwork but he um we ended up st out, stood out there on the street it was real busy and we were doing the cinnamon challenge. 
out there like just to pay more. What's the cinnamon challenge? Like, a, have you never, have you not had it? No. We you had it? it? No. Is that okay. Have you heard of it? Is it a Bournemouth thing? No, it's a, it's an international cinnamon challenge. You joking no. me? No. You need to do it. It get it will get a thou. It will get it will go crazy. Go a viral. What is it? What is it? Before table. I suggest we go and do it, what is it? <laughs> I would consider doing it today. Uh, it's a, it's a tape. You've got. A, you have to digest a tablespoon of cinnamon powder without coughing or. or is it not disgusting? Yeah, but it's a quite an achievement. If you can do it, it's is a, it a bit like the, the crackers it, this in the mouth. This would be a good initiation thing for TT and okay. mind over okay. matter. Okay. So do you have to get? Do you have to gather just a load of saliva in your mouth? Try, but you because then... it's just dust, right? So you just go. Oh my god. Okay. We should well, try it. Okay. Are you up for it? Yeah, I'm up for it. As long as we get a Mackey D's afterwards to wash. No, 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 no. Mackey D's before, mate. I'm not ruining the taste <laughs> of Mackey D's. <laughs> not, I haven't had one for six weeks. I'm not ruining a Mackey D's. Come on. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get a chaser for afterwards then. Yeah. To okay. wash it down. Yeah. That's good going. Six weeks at McDonald's. I yeah. couldn't go that long. I know. Last time we had one six weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Going back to uh, wobbling around mid pack of Super Sport. What? Um, you know, I, I, <laughs> I carried on and. Just, you know, just stop. wobbling round yeah. mid, mid pack. Yeah, well, I wasn't. Yeah, and, I, w- uh, I wouldn't. I don't, I'm not happy with wobbling round because I was, I was busting my balls. Yeah, from, no, from no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're released. <laughs> you're released balls. You're relaxed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, balls. no. no okay, we got to pick yeah. ourselves up a little. It we is, don't want to like. It was a. It was a. You, we were smashing it round. Smashing it. Yeah, yeah. we were smashing well, it. And most of the time, I, yeah. did, I didn't even have a bike license. We just never had any luck. That was the problem. We weren't. We weren't good enough. Yeah. It was the political system. Yeah. Totally. I have orange. So you get. You get. To that stage, and you, you know, all of a sudden you're a superstar, international superstar racer. What you know, is there anything that inside you that makes a TT racer? Is it just knowledge and like, just fucking massive testicles? Um, I think it's just wanting to do something. You know, if you asked anyone how they, how they, you know, if you if you want, some people like think, well, say, how do you do that, or like, how do you become a successful businessman and make millions of pounds? It's it's what you aspire to kind of do, and if you want something enough in life, then you kind of make it happen. It doesn't. You don't like get on a motorbike, ride around the TT, and like flukily get fast. It or like no motorsport competitive work, racer. Or, yeah, you just just takes work and determination and and hunger. And and my that's where my hunger is is to to to, to ride. And it's not like sometimes I think about it like why do I do it? But and it's. I am quite a competitive person, but, and uh, but to enjoy the TT now, I need to be achieving. You know, I, I want to win. That, that yeah. would be my. That's the ultimate goal is to win. Whereas in the first days, you know, I, I wasn't overly fussed if I won or not. I just wanted to slowly build up, and you know, you can you you could quite easily finish last at Ottoman and still come in grinning and smiling and mm-hmm. peeking, you know, it's, it's which yeah, is... Yeah, well, I've seen people that have done, yeah. It, 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 that's what, that's the good thing about it, is that you, you can enjoy it, even if you have a bad TT, it's, you're still doing an incredible thing and it's, 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 a, it's, a, so it's hard to explain it really, fully. Uh, uh, you've done Macau as well? Uh, yeah, did four years there, yeah. And how did you find that? That's that's a bit of a combination, you know. It is a good, it is good. It's a good trip. It's a good. Uh, in a, in a, in it's like a stag, but no, yeah, left. yeah, it's a stag. It's just yeah. a motorcycle stag. You have the stag. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but it, um, it it's it's just a it's a shithole basically. It's like cool to look at for the first few times because you're like, wow, this is like an amazing casino and uh, loads of um, first left. Loads. The, the money there is incredible. You know what they put into the buildings and those, the Chinese. It looks so cool. Again, yeah. Chinese. How we? And so that yeah, they're mad for it. The the, the place is is a is an incredible visit. You know, a, a attraction to sort of tick off and see. But the racing, riding a motorbike round is pretty cool. But the air quality is disgusting. And it's, really? And it's so hot and stinks. Yeah. You, right. And um, like it's not. It, yes, it's it's good fun. And if they, the circuit was somewhere with clean air, then I'm not making that using that as my excuse that I don't go anymore, but it just puts me off a little. And I didn't, you, you literally, you're kind of out your comfort zone a little bit. It's sort of, with the air, you know, you're just blowing out your ass and you're on the edge of like one thing that really put me off. And I was sound a bit of a pussy to the other racers, maybe not to non racers listening or watching this, but uh, I, I the warm up one the last time I was there. 
I uh, sorry, the second to last time I went, we we filled the tank, the, the fuel, the bike up with fuel for the first time, had a full tank for like a 15 minute warm up, and uh, it just wouldn't. It was the hand had made quite a big difference to the yeah. handling, and uh, I tipped into a corner and it just turned far quicker than I expected, and I clipped to a wall like my shoulder and back. Yeah. Over 100 mile an hour, and, and my wow. eyes just like flashed white. It was like, oh, yeah. it, and I was like, shit, wow. what? Like, just real big reality check. And I was like, um, you know, and then that was sort of, it just put me off a little bit. And I, I got <laughs> surprised. I, I most respect to all the boys that still keep going. And, and, yeah. and I, maybe I would go again one year, but I'm not, I'm just content with TT really and riding around yeah. on my own in fresh, nice, clean air is, uh, is cool. I'm That's where it goes. Yeah. As a newcomer, yeah. what advice would you give me? Um, Apart from not crashing. Yeah. Slow on the slow, fast on the fast. Uh, fast everywhere. Ride round and, 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 and enjoy it. You know, just make sure you do, you do your homework. That's the vital thing, you know. You, yeah. As long as you do your homework and you know what way the next corner's going and roughly how fast it is. Yeah. Um, then um, you know you, you will enjoy it. Just 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 take everything in, you know. But you're definitely like your perception, your your approach and vision of life and normal day life will will change dramatically after I've met. You'll just be like, that's boring. You know, you'll do something that was fun and exciting. Yeah. yeah. And then you'll be like, afterwards, you'll just you'll do it after TT. You'll be like, well. Like a roller coaster. Yeah. Mm. It's boring. Yeah. Shopping in MS. <clears throat> yeah. I think you that's I still get a little bit excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your expectations of things will be set this high after doing T T and yeah. then you'll go and do something that was exciting or fun beforehand and it like brands hatch and it just becomes like not really worth the drive up there, you know. <laughs> so you'd rather go out in your motocross you know, yeah. I'd, I'd much rather go and do a trial or go on a motocross yeah. bike or Sometimes even just sit at home on the sofa than then go to crank one, one out, crank one out, yeah, yeah, and then have a double kip, wax, double back to back, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Between two uh, McDonald's patties. <laughs>